Not all booby traps are deadly, but there are some out there that cause a lot of suffering. Computer viruses. These treacherous cyber thugs qualify as booby traps. They engage an unsuspecting victim with an invitation to open seemingly harmless email. The result of following their simple instructions could ultimately lead to the destruction of irreplaceable data. In 1985, there were 11 known viruses. Today, there are over 60,000. The success of these cyber traps is often based on the public's desire for freebies. Computer booby traps are something which lure a user into a false sense of security um, with the promise of some sort of reward, and at the end, um, ends up tricking them in some way and giving them something unexpected. That unexpected surprise is often a virus. They end up triggering a mechanism which usually causes some sort of damage or further propagates the virus. The lure of the freebie has produced a multi-million dollar antivirus industry. The question is, do these antivirus programs really work? There are probably 30 to 100 new viruses every month. So you can sort of do the math, figure one to three a day. So if you're updating every day, you seriously cut down the risk that you're going to be infected with a virus. And I say cut down, something new is going to hit your system, and until we figure out a way that doesn't rely on catching up with the viruses as they're written, um, we're always going to be one step behind. While we may be a step behind computer viruses, software designers are staying a step ahead of software thieves. Probably the most interesting example of this is the latest incarnation of the Windows operating system, Windows XP, which actually needs an activation code, which is checked periodically back at Microsoft. If too many things on the system are changed, or if the operating system is installed on a second computer, the computer is back at Redmond, we'll figure that out, and the booby trap will be triggered, and the system will stop working. Microsoft's new high-tech way to stop software piracy.